Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. In today's video, we're gonna check out a tool that allows us to repeat objects across multiple pages inside of layout. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I will note, if you do want to learn how to use layout more in depth, you can check out the SketchUp Essentials course. So we get way more in depth than the course on your workflow for creating plans inside of layout, um, all those different things. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check out the sketchupessentials.com slash course. I'd love to see you there. But what I wanted to talk about in today's video is how we can repeat objects across different pages inside of layout. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new page. So let's just create a blank page right here. We'll use the A4 landscape. So a lot of the time what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do something like this where you just draw some objects in here um, to kind of set up your title block, right? So you might have like a line. So just something to kind of split this up um, and some other information as well. So maybe like we'll add and so let's say we had some other things that we wanted in here as well. So maybe something like a space for a title. All right, so let's say we had something very simple like this. Um, so we've got just like a title, project, date, and then maybe a logo and kind of some lines to kind of break all this up, right? So like a very simple title block. Well, the problem we have right now is that our title block, if we were to add a new page, wouldn't occur again. Right? So if I click the plus button right here, right, I no longer have a title block over here. And so there's a way that we can fix that. And it's actually pretty easy to do. So there's actually a function in the layers down here that allows you to make objects repeat across all of your different pages. So the way that we do that is let's go ahead and let's add a new layer. And we're just going to call this title block right here. So that's going to be our layer. And what I want to do is I want to take everything that's going to make up my title block and I'm gonna right click on it, I'm gonna move it to the title block layer like this. So now we have a title block on this page. However, the problem is, notice how it's still not repeating across our multiple different pages, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna go into the settings for this title block layer. Well, on the right hand side of the page, notice how this shows a singular sheet right here, so it's just one sheet. However, let's say that we wanted this to repeat across multiple different pages. Well, what we can do is we can click on this button right here. Notice how that turns into two sheets, right? And so basically, if you mouse over this, notice what it says. It says control whether the layer is shared across all pages. So now everything that goes on this title block layer right here is now going to be repeated across whatever pages you create. Right, and one of the cool things about that is let's say that we added something in here, right? So let's say we added like some smart text. So let's say we just came in here and we just called this project name, right? So we added an item right here called project, project name, like this. And we need to make sure that we define that in our document setup. So we'll just click a plus button right here. We'll call it a custom text and we'll call it project name right here, right? So now we have an item in here for project name and we're just gonna call this um, house project. We basically created a smart item that we can change in one place and it'll change everywhere else. But notice how I made this adjustment and this item is on that title block layer, right? So now if I was to toggle between my different pages, notice how every one of them changed because it's basically repeating over and over and over again like this. And so then one other thing I always recommend is once you've finished doing whatever it is you want to do with your title block over here, my recommendation is always to take that layer and lock it, right? Because otherwise you can be clicking in here and you can accidentally pick this up and all of a sudden just mess up your entire title block, right? You could accidentally select these and move them around. And if you do that, notice how those get messed up on multiple different pages. So usually what I recommend is I recommend that you get your title block completed like this and then you click on the little lock button right here. Well, now you can't accidentally click on these and move them around inside of your page or on your sheet anymore. So the other thing that I do recommend is once you get your title block kind of the way that you want it to be, you might want to think about saving this as a template so that you don't have to remake it for every project. So to do this, all you're going to do is you're going to do a file, save as template, right here and wherever your template files go in this case right i'm just going to save it in my templates i'm just going to save this as example sheet and i think we made this an a4 so i'm going to type dash a4 i'm going to click on ok well what we did is we basically took 
everything that's on this sheet and we saved it as a template. So now if we were to create a new project and we go to the My Templates folder, notice how this example sheet template is going to show up in here and you can pick it for use later. All right, so again, we talk a lot more about this inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. So if you are looking for more workflow information about that, you can check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. But if you have any questions, leave a comment below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.